What's up, guys? Will Beach here with After Hours Market Talk. I'm going to do a special edition here to see how you guys like it. We are just going to talk at Apple and Tesla today. Uh, it's just going to be a quick overview of what to expect on these uh, this week coming up and the next couple of days specifically as we are kind of ramping up into what could be a corrective move, right? So we've been trending to the downside basically on the four hour, four hour daily. Uh, weekly, it would be considered a correction from the upside, uh, more or less, as it retests that kind of 150 EMA. As long as that it has broken below it, but as long as it holds that and um, recovers, then it would just be a correction, right? But if it were to roll over underneath it and keep running down, then it would be officially like a downtrend on the weekly chart. So let's take a look. All right, so I am on Tesla currently on the daily chart. We have now cupped over above the 20, as you see all this support hold. This is exactly what you'd wanna see. So it closed here. So for sure, most likely tomorrow, what I would anticipate is going to be the retest of this top Bollinger, kind of where the um, where it's gonna meet this 50. It's gonna be somewhere in that range. Obviously you have some resistance right in this range, which is the uh, 250, 252 to 257 range, but we're looking to get all the way up into the two, or, um, 250, seven, uh, 752 to 757, and we're looking to get up into the 780 range, basically to, for a retest. If it closes above that range, then we're gonna look for a full retest of the 150, which is, about $100 to the upside, about 110 but want, that is not, you know, there's no guarantee. We want to see it, how it's going to handle um, this 50, but I, you know, can probably confidently say that we're going to see this here in the next day or so, and the only thing right now is the uh, futures markets aren't moving that much right now, so they're just kind of in this consolidation range, just basically, they're, they're all red, but just barely red, so... I'd say it's consolidation for the most part right now, but looking for the um, same correction on them. So we're looking for that retest. And then um, if you want to see for all the, you know, intraday traders, we basically had a big breakout on Tesla. This is a 15 minute chart and then consolidation all day long. Uh, consolidation holding above the 50 and the 150 is usually a good indication that we are going to break out long. So if you drew a level at the tops of these ranges, basically as we pop up above those, then we're probably good for that run that I would expect, which is about 30 more dollars to the upside on Tesla. If we jump onto Apple, same thing. You see this big cupping, right? W, right? The W was broken here. As we look across, you see as it did this and rejected, it retested again, rejected, retested again, rejected. But every time it rejected, it found a higher support. And so finally it broke out of it, leading into a nice good uh, move here. So uh, if we zoom out of this, we'll probably see something similar. Now this for Apple is interesting because whereas Tesla consolidated along the 20, something like you would have seen here, and then a breakup, the reason why this one didn't is because we are still trending down like this. But now that we've kind of recouped and we're balancing back out, we should still see this retest of um, this 148, 150 range. But the difference here is that this would be a stronger place for rejection to happen on Apple, whereas Tesla kind of moved sideways a little bit more. So it has a better chance of making that move like a stronger move. Whereas this is gonna be a weaker move simply in the sense that everything is still facing down, right? You see this? So this is downward movement, which means the rejection on this is gonna be harder. Consolidation movements is, is weaker, right? So what you notice is, I'll show you on this 20, is as this 20 is moving down, it's putting pressure down. So even though it broke up, it came back down, right? Kind of did a little M break down. Now, every time we move sideways, which would be this whole section here, 
it's basically just a sideways move, then it flattens these curves out. And as these lines get flat, it gives the price range the opportunity to move above it. You can see we are positive on the MACD. That's a really good symbol sign for moving up. But in this correction, if we see a true correction here, this thing is probably going to go through another wave, meaning it's going to reject, come back down, hopefully find support in this range, and then go back up again. That's what I would expect if this is going to hold. And then the question is, is when it comes back up after it retests or tests, is it going to retest and fail, right? Looking something like, Why this error is not drawing area. Ah, all right, well, it's messing with me now. So, anyways, this is going to uh, come down and bounce off the 50, right, and go back to the downside, or is it going to break through it, right? So, if we go to the NASDAQ, which is what Apple is a part of, then we're going to go in and look at this, right? We've done this consolidation up here. Everything's pulling back. I would expect a big push um, coming soon as the stochastic is basically winding up because you're getting sideways movement, but this is going down, right? The price isn't going down with it, which means it's winding up to push it again. And the ADX has not crossed over. So we're still in like a momentum uh, run. That's a 30 minute chart. Four hour has broken above the 150. All of the other moving averages are below the 150. So what you need to see is either enough consolidation where they come close or a big enough run up that it pulls it through. But when you get that big pull through, you end up getting a, a big uh, pull back, back to it. It'd be a better sign to get a nice gradual like consolidation run is what I'd prefer to see. Um, but that's not, you know, there's no way to know if it's going to consolidate and go up or if it's going to run up hard or obviously reject. But I think right now we're looking at possibly getting these retests at these levels, right? I'd be looking at this level first. Where did I get this? I like seeing where the moving averages cross over. That's usually a good sign of a retest, right? You can use Fibonacci's if you like that. Um, you can use the bottom, right, of the most uh, recent like consolidation. The biggest consolidation here came from this range right here. So you could use that. That would be what I'd be looking for. So let's go back over here to Apple. And it's, you see, it's basically the same setup, right? Four hour chart, four hour chart. This is still moving down. You see this? It hasn't consolidated enough to move sideways. So what you really do need to see here is more of a sideways move. It would not be too crazy to think that this is going to pull back to this 20 enough that it gives the 50 time to start cupping over and giving us the range we want to see, right? And then if we get stuck, uh, I have this triangular kind of downward position. So we'd be looking for something in that same kind of range. Here's the bottom consolidation here which is very much close to already. So Tesla looks stronger to me than Apple does at the moment. Um, I think the markets should be okay this week. Uh, but like I said, I wouldn't, it wouldn't be a surprise to get that pullback considering uh, where it's at currently. So if you look here on the NASDAQ on the daily, you have a positive MACD right now, which is a good sign for a correction, but it doesn't mean reversal. So if we got up to these ranges again, like it might retest that range and then pop up and retest this range. But again, look at the moving averages are still pointing down, which is pushing down on the price. So even if you get green uh, moves, you still have to be considering that it wants to keep pushing it down until you have the consolidation enough to curve it back up. All right, guys, that is it. That is the quick 
Apple and Tesla analysis right now, I believe Tesla does look stronger than Apple at the moment. I do think that we do have some retesting in play. So like always, play cautious, be aware of, of uh, the downward pressure if you're playing long. So don't be too greedy, get your uh, trades in and be happy with it. And I will follow up with you guys tomorrow. Take care. Have a good night.